Two men killed in a crash involving Warren police were late to rest today. As their loved ones say their final goodbyes, many are still upset that the police department has not reached out to them. CBS News Detroit's Veronica Ortega was at that funeral in Detroit today. It was a somber and sad day for the families of Daquan Pettis and Cedric Hayden Jr. It was a joint funeral because, as the family said, both men wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Hundreds of people attended the joint funeral at Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit. On the big screen, an image of the men who families say were like brothers. They were just together all the time. So it was best, you know, just let them leave together. Family and friends of Cedric Hayden Jr. in his favorite color red and those on DeJuan's side sporting gear from his favorite football team, the Detroit Lions. He was so sweet. He was like the humblest person. He was very soft spoken. He was never disrespectful. Just silly like me. He just always wanted to do pranks. Underneath the good memories, there's also anger. Nobody has offered an apology. Nobody has reached out to them. Nobody's tried to contact my grandson. None of that. I'm pissed off. And a lot of unanswered questions. Surveillance video shows the moment of impact on that fateful day in September. I just want to know what happened, why it happened, and nobody's talking to us. Until that happens, the families will remember both Tuan and Cedric as devoted fathers. I just want to make sure that he's smiling up there. Like I told them, everything y'all do the rest of your life is for your daddy. Their legacy is just gonna, it's gonna live long and it's gonna follow through us, his kids, his mom, and we're just gonna make sure that, you know, we do that. The families say Tuan and Cedric are at peace now, together. For CBS News Detroit, I'm Veronica Ortega. The families of both of those victims are suing the Warren Police Department. They say that cruiser was traveling at or above 100 miles an hour. Warren Police say the crash was not caused by the cruiser. No court dates have been set yet.